Well, after last episode's disappointing collapse, we are back for an extra episode. Let's roll the titles and see if we can improve. So right away we made a bunch of changes. We've dropped Jackson Duke for Hardy, we've taken out Lee Robinson for Winkleman and Pinnock comes in for Kirby. We've also dropped Bradley for Steel on the left wing. We've brought a new sign in as well um, on loan and we're going to bring him on the bench. Um, Where does he go? We should bring him for probably for the expensive edge so in comes Michael Johnson. So we the lineup we're going with McDonough in goal, Hardy, Winkleman, Torelli, and Taylor in defence, Aziz and Pinnock in midfield, Smith, Alton, Steele in attack midfield, and Dickens up top. Going to give Johnson a number. Let's just give him 49. And let's submit that. Okay, let's go with the assistant and then we'll go with the assertive again, saying there's more to come from him. And here, off we go. Rochdale are lower than us, so here we get with the point is kick off highlight again and we won't see anything happen from it. Well done by Z's. Winkle with the free kick, finds Hardy out on the wing. Hardy into Smith. Smith cuts inside but plays back to Winkleman. Winkleman out to Pinnock. Pinnock then finds Steel on the wing. Steel runs early cross. Dickens! Should have done better. Really should have finished that. Oh no, Dickens has got injured. We're going to have to play probably Johnson, maybe give him his chance, or do we bring Mello in? No, let's, let's, see, let's see how Johnson can do. Dickens' injury could be a real problem for us, actually. He was our shining light last season. Free kick is blocked by the wall, and Johnson picks up. That's good first touch frame, but his second touch is poor. Finds no one. McDonald in with the long kick forwards. He doesn't find anyone, he finds their man. And they're playing around the back. Plays it forward the Fox. Fox inside the Carter. We're not really track closing them down enough. Tipper is running at the defence. Wharton's in. Wharton with the shot, just white. Need to close those down a lot better. Let's demand more, see if that can spur them on. Long ball forwards. They knock it down to Wharton again. Wharton puts back the Tipper. A oh, nice tackle. And it, is it going to go out? No, early cross. Captain Story. No, oh, Mandu. Got lucky there. Thanks for the follow, by the way, trash bag. Okay, in goes Steel. Taylor. Taylor inside the Pinnock. Pinnock, what can you do here? Finds Alton. Alton inside the disease. Disease back to Alton, but it's a poor pass. We got lucky, or well back. Well tackled back by Alton. Back to Taylor. Taylor, early ball forward. Johnson still on goal. It's too slow. He, tra he should have carried on running. But now Taylor's got it again and it comes nothing. Disease out with Taylor. Can Taylor get the crossing? Early cross, yes, but it doesn't go anything again. He got it out. Disease tries to shot, but it just goes wide. I don't know why Alton is pressured by the feedback. Alton with a free kick. It's a bit weak and it goes straight to the keeper. My sister thinks we should play shorter, but I don't know if I agree with him. Pinnock. Inside the Aziz. Aziz. Oh, what a shot. What a goal. That was absolutely brilliant by Aziz. I have to see this again. So Taylor takes the throw and he goes to the Pinnock. Pinnock plays it off short. He's got acres, but the defender's closing down. But he uses the defender's body as a shield and just curves it around him. The keeper couldn't see it until late and it's in the top corner. 
Another chance here. Still good picks at the ball. Plays it to Aziz. Back to Pinnock. Pinnock finds Steel. Still back to Pinnock. Pinnock to Aziz. Aziz, that was poor shot. Considering his last one, that was really poor. Half time, 1 0. Not the best result. We could do a couple more, but at least win the lead. Let's passionately tell him I'm, they played Roberts more. Um, I don't know actually. No, I'm going to, going for room to improvement. Hasn't really helped too much. Let's tell him more to come from again. Tell him more that and it should fire most of them up hopefully. Hasn't really helped at all anyway. Okay, off for the second half. Z's into Smith. Lift to Z's. Alton. Finds Pinnock outside of him. Pinnock out to Taylor. To Steele. Steele's ball was, was a hospital pass and he's cut out. I do, but it doesn't come in anything. Bates gets the ball to Fox. He plays it out to Carter. Fox. I'm surprised he didn't switch to this win because he was in acres. But he plays it forward and we cut it out. And we turn this into an attack for us. It's the East, the Pinnock. Pinnock. He's running forward with it. He's still running forward with it. Plays it out wide to Steel. Steel will find Taylor. Taylor, early cross. Brilliant cross. Smith! Oh, that cross was absolutely brilliant. Took the defence out completely and Smith just had to pray at home and he did. Watch this. I mean here. You think he could run with it but he doesn't hit it really early. It whips it all the, around all the defenders and he just had to put it on. Although actually, it was harder chance than it looked. It was only a small gap to put it in between the post and the keeper. We're going to drop down on course. Just see this game out. Catch on the break. Oh, Johnson. Should have had his first goal for us there. Oh, actually, it looks like it was a deflection. So I let him off. Corner comes in. Inuk picks up on the edge of the area. Back to Aziz. Inside the Trelli. Back to Aziz again. Aziz finds Winkleman. And it comes to nothing. It's four in the middle of the lineup. They're playing really well. Best one could do with improving. Bates moves forward for them. Long ball forward and beats our defence. And Keaton Story should have got one back there. We got lucky. Alton with the free kick. It's again a bit soft and the keeper just takes it with ease. Kennedy takes the corner and the conceded one. That was, I don't know, it was calamitous. Let's have a look what happened here. The corner comes in. Flickon comes in, Keeper makes a hash of it, and then Fox hits it in a foul player, is it? I don't know where he gets it, but still, we should have done better there. All round. Let's go back to balanced. And let's see, who do we change? I was going to say Smith, but he's doing okay. So I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Um, let's think about this. Could bring on Roland to go defensive midfield instead of Alton in attacking midfield. Try and see out the game, but I don't know. It's against my style to go defensive. I like attacking lineup. I prefer to lose when an attacking lineup than win playing defensive. Let's do the attacking midfield for attacking midfield for Koi coming on for Alton. Last season, Koi was actually better. We're only really playing Alton because he wanted some games. And we didn't want to lose him because he was good as a good backup. Taylor with the free kick. Oh, it's a goal kick even. Trelly cuts it out. The steal. Taylor. The steal again. Finds Pinnock. Nick cuts inside the Koi. Koi finds Aziz. Aziz puts it out to the fullback, Hardy. Hardy doesn't. Hardy declines the initial cross but gets the second chance and it's cut out. Koi. Boss is a save. Let's see how our players are doing. Let's go on to where is it? Um, that's not what I wanted. It's that summary. There we go. Johnson doing pretty poor. Winning none of his headers really. 29%. And only had two overall chances and he's missed both of them. Do I sub him or do I make some tactical changes? Let's let's whip in the crosses instead. See if that helps him. A bit more pace. He might not need the win headers as much. Got a couple of minutes left to see out. Let's make one more sub. Take off someone who's tired. Um, let's think about this. Let's pin it off for Pope. Are they better around this way around? Probably, yeah. 
it might change Pope's instructions to be a ball in the midfielder. There we go. Let's see if we can see out the last couple of minutes. Oh, they almost score. A bit better connection on the header, and there would have been two all. Okay, Hardy to the throw in to find Smith. Hardy. Early cross gets blocked. Still comes to our play though. Now Taylor. It's a early cross but it gets blocked again. Coy switches out the back to Hardy. Hardy crosses. Steals in. Still should have scored. Owen. Taylor finds his ease. Back to Taylor. Taylor's cross but it's blocked. Now they're going to break on us. It's two against two for a second there. But we've got players back. Lunt and good block. Okay, Lunt crosses. Cut out. Fox gets it though. Pope. Pope tries to get to find Johnson but he doesn't get it. Then Lunt crosses. Oh, gets the header but McDonald saves it with ease. McDonald boots it up the field. Just goes to their player though. And long ball over. Keaton Story. If we throw another, another win there, I'd have been so annoyed. Aziz clears it, finds Coy. I don't know, why did none of them run for it? That was a ball that we could have won. Goes away back to their goalkeeper. Who hoofs it forwards. And we cut it out, but he still got the hold of it. Nice tackle by Pope. Coy finds Johnson. Johnson plays it first time to Steel. Steel, can you find the cross? His cross is blocked though. Waste some time though. Steel puts the corner in. It's blocked. Johnson! I don't know how they didn't clear it. But at least he's got his goal. He was been poor maybe for the game, but that would do his confidence a world of good. Also, he drops over their defender. Trelly's shot block gets blocked by the defender and just goes into Johnson's path and he puts it away. 3-1 should see us. That's win this game now. Koi. Oh, I thought we were going to snatch another one. Hardy in the Pope. Smith. This was actually over the next couple of games coming up. This seemed to be the hardest of them. But we've got 3 points, which is better than we were expecting. We're up to 12th. We're ahead of what anyone who watches Lulu Joe's videos calls the Kev Ratio. We're ahead of that, which is always positive. Now the key thing is, is Dickens out for a long time. As if he is out for a long time. We're gonna need another choice to think because Johnson did not impress on his debut. Maybe he needs time to settle. We had this earlier on actually for Josie who was awful for his first for, oh, five weeks out. That's gonna be a problem. I was gonna say Josie was awful for his first half of the season and then suddenly came good. But with this highlights a problem we're gonna have. We just set the lowest record the lowest attendance record for the league. It means we're gonna struggle to get Gate receipts. So we're going to struggle for finances in this league, let alone leagues above. We're going to have to somehow try and find some more fans from somewhere. Even so, that's actually for us, 985 for a home game is actually a brilliant attendance, which is about a couple of thousand too short of what we need to be. So here we go for the Cabo Cup match. This is a game we should be expected to lose. They are in a division above us. But they're not in as better, and they're in similar form to we are. And you never know, with the pressure off and the pressure on them, maybe we'll perform well. You can only hope, we have a bit of a boost. So we brought Mellow in for the injured Dickens, and not Viskin Johnson. We, let's have a look as well. We want to bring in, I want to bring Deacon Kennedy, he's been doing well for the reserves. We're going to bring him in on the bench. And I don't know, I'd just like to get Triggs in. I'm not sure who. Maybe Harry Pope? Yeah, let's go with Harry Pope. And I'll get Triggs in. So he always performs. He's not our best player, but he does perform. The team we're going with is McDonough in goal, Hardy, Winkle, and Trey in Tay in defence, Zeez and Pinnick in midfield, Smith, Alton, and Steele in attacking midfield, and Meadow up top as a striker. Uh, let's go with the assistant as always. It usually works, but it isn't really working there. And then. Oh god, wrong button. I wasn't meaning to hit. And I was assistant there. It hasn't really helped. Never mind. Kick off. I don't know. Do we get a share of the gate receipts in this competition? Because this could actually be worth a lot of money. If we can get a, get a good payday. And not get totally destroyed. That would be a positive result. 10 minutes in and nothing's really happened. Okay. 
highlight here, Trevelli finds Steele on the wing, Steele short to Pinnock, Pinnock short again to Alton, Alton short once more to Aziz, he plays it forward to Smith, Smith cuts inside to Alton, Steele, good strike, good save right there, keeper though, now they've got an attack, finds Jones, Jones inside to Vaughan, back to Jones, Dory's on the wing, early cross and they're 1-0 up already, isn't looking good, I can see too many goals here, totally destroyed the confidence. I mean, he gets in way too easy. Cross. Defenders does nothing with it, really. Other of them could have maybe done something with it. Like maybe they were scared of putting him on the net. They've actually been the dominant team, surprisingly. Yeah, they get a throw in. Finds Fenton. Into Jones. We win it back, though. Alton. Can you do something with it? Finds the Z's. Place it back to Alton. Alton then back to Z's. And then forward to Pinnock. It's a nice move starting. Still. Still can't get across in, though. And then they're going to break us again. And he wins that too easily. Fenton, a good block. And Joseph just white. Let's switch to course. Let's try and hit him on the break. Free kick. Oh, keep it as well. And just over the bar. We should have maybe gone defensive midfielder against a better team, really. But the problem is, I just don't know if I trust defensive midfielder. I played it like for about five games in the lower divisions, it didn't work. Only 1-0 at half time though, that was actually a lot better than we were expecting. And they scored the goal, I was expecting the floodgates to open. Beats it to free kick, keeper saves it, and we get rid of the ball. Mellor's not really doing much, is he? They throw in for Taylor, finds Alton, back to Taylor, early cross. Oh, someone should have gotten near that. Pinnock though, got it. Alton, takes a shot but it's a bit soft and the keeper just catches it with ease. We've got another attack with now they block it, but Hardy gets it. The Smith. Smith inside to Alton. Alton over top. Can't find his man. Z Stos has got it. Smith's done in. Inuk. Oh, brilliant strike from edge area. Inuk puts us on equal terms. It was a pretty decent move. Z's there. The Smith. Puts inside. Pulls it out the Pinnock, who's got some space. And just drills it. With that side of his boot. Does the Cabral Cup have replays at this stage? Money wise, a replay would be pretty good. Now let's see, we need to make a change here. I'm going to bring Coy on for Alton. Alton hasn't really done that much this game. And I'm going to bring Triggs and let's bring on Johnson as well. Three changes, let's see if they can freshen up the attacking positions. Bit of a risk. If we get an injury, we're screwed, but we have to take a risk to get the reward. So, hey there with the throw in. Finds Triggs, cuts it inside to Pinnock. Pinnock in the Z's. Pinnock finds Taylor on the wing and gets it back. Triggs. It's a good little short play here. They just keep passing around, but oh, Pinnock did well to get the ball back after looking like he lost it. Early cross Smith off the post. Should have been a goal. Should have been 2 1. Let's uh, show some passion from this point. It's really happening in this last quarter. They now get free kick though. In. They're going to break our hearts. Side. I thought it was a penalty for a second. One minute and then three minutes of injury. Taylor. Can we snatch it here? Torelli. Inside the Triggs. Disease. Gets, Triggs gets back. Triggs is running with it. Can he run that defender? Early cross. Johnson. He gets offside though if we've got it. Now they're breaking. Don't score here. Ross is Smith is in acres. Oh, good defending. We kick for Reese and we get rid of it. Why is the ref not blowing here? Oh, Trelly, well bet. Oh, it's going to penalties. Our penalty takers are not particularly good. Um, Our best penalty taker would probably be Aziz. Um, and Johnson second. Taylor third. Boy fourth, Nick fifth, Ellis Trig sixth, Hardy seventh, Winkleman, Smith, Donnell. Okay, I'm happy with that. Here we go for the penalty shootout. The C steps up. He should be the one who's all our players scores. And he drills straight to the goalkeeper. That was poor. Newton steps up. 
I'm on keypads. And good save. Johnson, what's he going to do here? Runs up. Left footed past the keeper. Good penalty. And Smith. What a save would be great here. Smith again left footed. Keeper saves. Donald is doing brilliant. We just need this belly in the back of the net. Oh, but that's rubbish. Now V steps up. And you get it equal again. And he does. One all. Koi. Koi gonna do. Right footed. Runs up. Builds it home in the left hand corner. Fredericks. He will save this again. Making up movement, but he can't get anywhere near it. Pinnock. Left foot penalty. Drills in top corner. Brilliant penalty that. So that's what? Two or I think we're in sudden death here. Are we? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sudden death. And Gana finds the back of the net. Trigg steps up. Ever reliable Triggs. Don't let me down now. Triggs, good penalty. And who's stepping up for them now? Fenton. And here we go. Can the keeper save it? And he does! We've won it! Not that big a team. That would be a brilliant payday. I wonder who we get next. Out of two of the matches I was expecting to be the most difficult and expecting maybe losses in, we've got results. Hopefully that means we're going to the game against Barry, who should be the one of the harder uh, should be one of the easier teams. Hoping we can go in and smash them. I mean just look at what that's done to our finances. We've gone into a profit from being a couple hundred K in the red. So we are definitely do are sharing the gate receipts. Okay, so here we get the second round cup draw. Too many teams in the draw it one by one, so let's do draw all teams. And we've got an away game against Newcastle. That should bring in a fair bit of money. And Santa Dez going out on loan. Get some games and hopefully improve him. Okay, my assistant director of football has brought in James Stewart. We don't really need him. But he's not costing us anything, so may as well. He comes in. Three and a half star. But he plays in, uh, I think he's left back. On the right back. So, I don't know, maybe. Let's have a look at him against Hardy. Yeah, generally better. Might be pretty good signing by my director of football. We'll have to see, though. He might be lack of experience. Okay, so here we go against game against Barry. We've got better form than them. Um, so we're going McDonald, Hardy, Winkle and Trey, Taylor. Zs Kirby comes in because of Pinnock being tired. Smith, Coy comes in. And Steele and we've got Melo at top. Actually, let's let's try Johnson or a chance instead of Melo. So let's turn then we're on the dogs and it hasn't really worked. I guess they're not really on the dogs, I don't know why I chose that one. But we've managed to get most of them green with the other options. And off and there we go with kick off. Close crosses. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I usually think those kickoff highlights are pointless. Apparently they're not. Sometimes people do score. That was poor defending. This is the match we're supposed to win. I mean, so much space. Warrior just has, a, has an age just to volley that home. I wish Sports Interactive would sort this with these panels. Keep forgetting what this says. Hardy. Plays it in the Z's. The Koi. Koi! Oh, brilliant goal by Koi. So we've got a quick fire equaliser there. Look, Hardy plays it into the Z's. Finds Koi and Akers. Koi says there's a gap, he runs into it and just powers it past the keeper. They both have one shot and both score the goal. Brooks plays it forward. Can our defence cut it out? No, he misses it. May. Oh, and he drills it from the edge of the box. 
to it now, losing again. Koi should have done better with that header, he just like jumps under it, watch this. Here we go, just jumps right under it, makes nowhere near it. And then Ola plays out position after that. Nice finish though. And Koi apparently suffered an injury, but it's a wrist injury. I mean he can play it for a wrist injury, like he's a goalkeeper. Let's show some passion, trying it back in. Can we break Johnson? Johnson's running forward but he loses the ball but Taylor picks it up. Taylor's cross is a bit long but Smith picks it up and that cross is awful. Can hide you some with it. Cross inside to Smith. Disease. Back out to Hardy. Hardy can he get the cross in? No, he pulls it across to Kirby. Kirby in the steal. Kirby again finds Taylor. Taylor can he get the cross in? He does. Doesn't get anything. Hardy. Hardy strikes unlucky just over. Bowyer switches it out. Taylor's where to cut it out though. Back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper who sits it up. Goes to their player but still gets that. Still in the Kirby. Disease. Back to Steel. Koi, Koi. Good ball out to Taylor. Taylor can he get the cross in? He does. But it's cut out again. Disease. Just white. Going for Taylor to Koi. Back to Taylor. Kirby on the edge of the box. Crosses. Cuts out again. Zeus should get this first. He does. Finds Hardy. And Hardy switch it. And he holds on to it and plays it backwards. Winkleman also loses the ball. Oh, well done. Don't know who got that, but it's well done. Johnson's in. Johnson, can you finish it? No, straight the goalkeeper. Telford's in the acres, but oh, brilliant tackle Hardy. Looked like a clear cut goal there. Torelli is playing awful. Well born to Telford. Telford strikes and it's blocked. Doesn't find anyone on the rebound. Donald moves the ball forward. Can Smith get it? No, he doesn't, but Hardy does pick up the loose ball. Into Z's. Z's finds Johnson. Johnson short the Coy. Coy plays out to Taylor on the wing. Taylor drives forward. Early cross, but it's too far. Johnson wasn't really expecting that. Finds Kirby. Oh, off the crossbar. Brilliant volley. Should have been back on equal terms there. Still got it though. Steel, Kirby, Taylor. Taylor's cross is blocked. So half time. And disappointing really. Uh, let's tell them I don't think they played as well as they capable of. Or maybe not. That hasn't really worked. So maybe I should have gone for what I was going with. Or sub to really. Let's give him a bit of a warning. I'm not happy with the performance I think I'll go with. That's at least fired him up. Let's say it's more to come from them all. That's most of them motivated. Let's hope it goes out and show some benefit of that on the pitch. Winkleman with Smith. Smith runs with the ball, plays it to Hardy, out to Koi, who finds the Z's. Z switches it. Thought he was going to run onto it, but he doesn't steal. Johnson, again, backed off it. Oh, he's offside. Yeah, that's why he checked his run. I just thought he was refusing to run for it. I was going to be so annoyed if that was the case. But I guess I can let him off. Brooks hoofs the ball forward, and he finds their man. None. Finds Telford. Should have made it 3-1. Oh, well done by Kirby. Kirby. That ball's poor. No, no, Johnson's gone to it. Johnson. Oh, should have scored. Thought the ball was poor, but Johnson has a turn of pace there. Should have done better. Dickens would have scored that, I think. Okay. Trelly's booked in his pause. Let's get Robinson on his place. He's better as a, a defender defend, though, in the... Let's switch him that. Still, we're going to bring Triggs on and get back in the team. And Smith, let's give Kennedy a chance. See if we can get those wide players to do something. They got the corner though. And they make it 3 1. Before we even had the chance for the subs to make a difference, they put this goal game to bed, we think. A highlight from the kickoff though. Are we going to get straight back into it? Triggs in the Koi. Way over the top of Johnson. Comes to nothing though. But do we win the ball back? Robinson does to Kirby. Z switches out to Hardy. Hardy to Kennedy. Kennedy finds Hardy again. Z to Koi. Hardy was in space there, but don't look for him. Kirby though looks for Taylor, who's also got space. Taylor with the early cross. Johnson again. I don't know. He's fun seeming to come from too deep. 
Kirby with the strike. It's blocked Kirby. Taylor. It's blocked and now they're breaking on us. Kirby's injured. A leg. I haven't got anyone who can bring on though. We've made our subs. So the game's trickling into nothingness. Nothing has happened at all at the end. And there we go with our loss against the team we should have been. This league is going to be a bit of a roller coaster. We're going to get results against teams we should lose to, and we're going to beat. We're going to lose teams who we should beat. We really need to find a striker really that we can bring in. Because as long as Dickens is out, we've got a problem. So let's tell them. It. I'm not happy. Most of them responded quite well there. I mean, next game, we're probably going to drop points again, we would think. That's not going to be great. Anyway, let's take a quick look at table. We're in 18th with 3 points. As mentioned before, we're still meeting the Kev ratio, and it works quite well for him each season. As long as he meets the points per ga same amount of points as amount of games he's played, he usually survives. If it can work for him, it can work for us. Just need to maintain that, which might be tough. Anyway, with that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And remember to follow us on Twitch. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a good day. And let's roll the credits. A cold light falling on the ground. Long day, but we won't back down. One thing playing on our mind. Long wait, but we won't give up now. You crave the love I gave, and we'll do it again. A cold night getting warmer now. The ground shakes as our love gets loud. We are the champions, the champions of the night.